Hello everyone, welcome to Chemizon Complete Chemistry. So in today's video, we are going to see the resonance structure of heterocyclic compounds. Okay, these are the heterocyclic compounds that we are going to see. That is pyridine. This is which compound? This is pyrrole, furan, and thiophene. Now, what is the meaning of heterocyclic compound? Compounds having a hetero atom are called as a heterocyclic compounds. Hetero atom. We had seen what is a hetero atom. Atom other than carbon and oxygen. Atoms other than carbon and hydrogen, not oxygen. Hydrogen. It can be oxygen, sulfur, nitrogen. As you can see in these molecules. So let us first see the resonance structure of pyridine. What is the structure of pyridine like this? It is similar to benzene only instead of one carbon there is nitrogen. And where is the lone pair of nitrogen? Lone pair of nitrogen is not involved in resonance. Okay, now if you compare carbon and nitrogen which is more electronegative, nitrogen. So we will move the electron towards nitrogen like this. So what do we get? Okay, don't forget the resonance arrow. This is the resonance arrow. Nitrogen, now it has two lone pair and a negative charge, positive charge, like this. So, if you see the charge, here overall charge is zero. Here also overall charge is zero. Plus and minus and overall charge is zero. Next, this will move here. Pi electrons will move here. Again, the resonance arrow. A positive charge here nitrogen having two lone pair a pi bond has shifted here now what will happen next pi bond will shift again the resonance arrow a nitrogen having two lone pairs negative charge pi bond pi bond has shifted here and positive charge now the last step is nitrogen giving back the lone pair okay, giving back the lone pair like this okay this is the final resonance structure n pi bond pi bond and pi bond nitrogen now having one lone pair so this is the final resonance structure now suppose if i want to draw the resonance hybrid how will the resonance hybrid look like first draw the sigma bonds Okay, and the lone pair, this one lone pair is not involved in resonance, right? And the remaining is like benzene. Okay, all the pi electrons, electrons that are involved, we show by a dotted line. Okay, so this was pyridine. Now let us see the resonance structure for pyrrole. Pyrrole, it is a five membered ring. Okay, it is a five membered ring, and here. The electronics is slightly different here nitrogen is already forming three bonds so the lone pair will now be involved in resonance so now nitrogen instead of withdrawing electrons it has a lone pair that can be donated so it will donate lone pair like this this pi bond will move here what we get is nitrogen pi bond here there is a lone pair or negative charge a pi bond now nitrogen is forming four bonds so it will get a positive charge what is the next step this will move here and the pi electrons will move here what? okay so now let us see the next structure that is going to be formed again i draw the five member ring first nitrogen forming four bonds so it will get a positive charge now the pi bond has shifted here. The lone pair has come here. Negative charge. What is the next step? Okay, till where you have to continue when you get the first structure back. Okay, this will move here, and again this pi electrons will move here. What I will get? Again a five-membered ring. Pi bond. Lone pair. Negative charge. Nitrogen is again forming how many bonds? Four bonds. So it will get a positive charge. Then 
the last structure is this one what i get is pi membered ring nitrogen get its lone pair here there is a pi bond here there is a pi bond a and h so this is the final structure so if i want to draw the resonance hybrid how will be the resonance hybrid looking like this is the sigma bonds that are not involved in resonance so again a circle a dotted line across the pi electrons and the lone pair of nitrogen that was involved in resonance now let us see the next one after pyrrole now pyrrole thiophene and uh, furan all have the similar resonance structure only here in pyrrole there is nitrogen in furan it is oxygen and in sulfur in thiophene there is sulfur is a heteroatom so furan means it is oxygen is the heteroatom oxygen having lone pair in pyrrole there were three bonds nitrogen forms three bonds but in oxygen we know oxygen can form two uh, sigma bonds and there are two lone pairs now we'll draw the resonance structure again similar to nitrogen oxygen having lone pair so it will donate so what we will get five member ring oxygen one lone pair that is not involved in resonance oxygen now forming three bonds so it will get a positive charge lone pair negative charge pi electrons in this will shift a okay, total we see five resonance structures for pyrrole furan and thiophene oxygen forming three bond positive charge pi pi bond is formed here lone pair next this will shift here again oxygen is forming now pi bond is shifted here negative charge lone pair okay, lone pair on this carbon negative charge positive charge on oxygen and then this will move here this will be here and oxygen will get back its lone pair okay this is the last structure I want to draw the resonance hybrid oxygen one lone pair is not involved in resonance then a dotted circle like this the resonance hybrid for furan now the last structure after furan is thiophene so thiophene if you see it is exactly the same like this is which molecule this is thiophene now thiophene it is going to be same as that of furan only instead of oxygen it is sulfur we know oxygen sulfur both belong to group 16 that is they belong to same group okay again this will move here okay pi electrons will shift what we will get five membered ring sulfur having a lone pair now it is forming how many bonds three bonds it will get a positive charge lone pair negative charge pi electron now this electron lone pair will come here pi electrons will shift here what do i get now lone pair has shifted here sulfur positive charge now this will move here okay what do i get pi electrons now lone pair has shifted here sulfur again sulfur is having forming three bonds so it will be having a positive charge now last structure is this will move here this pi electrons will shift here sulfur will get its electrons back lone pair back okay, sulfur got its two lone pairs back the final structure now how do you draw the resonance hybrid draw the sigma bonds first one lone pair of sulfur does not participate in resonance then a circle like this so this is a resonance hybrid of thiophene i hope you have understood the resonance structures how to draw the resonance structures of all the heterocyclic compounds that is pyridine pyrrole thiophene and furan thank you